Hey guys, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. Today in this video, we're gonna discuss about iCloud lock, activation lock, or find my iPhone being turned on on an iPhone or any iOS device. What that means is we're gonna discuss a little bit about what that means for you and how to check for it and how to avoid buying phones that have that because you most likely will make that device useless and if you guys are new to our channel we do a lot of tech news reviews giveaways and hacks so make sure to hit that subscribe button in my hand as you can see i have an iphone xs or the 10s here if you guys are looking to buy a cheap device like this from amazon ebay and other sites we did a lot of unboxing make sure that you guys check out the link in the description that we have for you guys discounted iphone 10s that you can find because the prices dramatically went down so let's talk about iCloud lock, activation lock, find my iPhone turned on. What does that really mean? So what that really means is that when you have a device that is activation lock or iCloud lock, it means that someone is signed into that device and they're the original owner of that device and they haven't signed out. As you can see, when I go into settings here, all I did is just look up top and see that there's an account signed into this iPhone. This is our account that is currently signed in. And in order to sign out of that account, you need their password for that account. What this creates is this security posture that Apple puts on their Apple devices so that someone, if they were to lose it or if they got their device stolen or misplaced it, someone else couldn't really use it without actually signing out of their account. And if we want to sign out, you'll see if we click on over here and look to sign out, right? We're going to be required to enter the password of this account and we don't have that. So we can't quite do that. So that what that really means that someone is logged in and you can't do it. And what this also does is the original owner has the ability to lock or erase the phone remotely or report it stolen based on their account by signing into another account or their online account that allows them to control the device itself and what they want to do with it. That's one quick way to check and that's probably the best way to check is having the phone here or your Apple device and checking it in the setting that someone isn't signed on. But what if you didn't have the device with you? How else can you check? There's another way to check it and that's using the IMEI number which is a 15 digit unique character that's attached with any iOS or Apple device that you have. You can find that by generally going to settings and then about general and then about and then you're going to see that there's the physical SIM IMEI number which is this 15 digit number and the digital one. We're going to want to copy the physical one by pressing and holding it and then use this copy option and then copy it onto our clipboard. Once we have done that we're going to open up uh, internet browser that you have and search for iPhone iCloud check as you can see here in the results there's tons of website that actually can check if someone is logged into a device by running a IMEI number check and to do that you just get that 15 digit number and then hop over to any of these sites there's not one that we recommend there's multiple ones it's best to check multiple ones to cross check and reference that all of them are coming back with the same result. So here, as you can see, it's asking to enter the, that number. We're gonna paste that number in and then hit that check button. And once we hit that check button, we're probably gonna get some ads here because it is a free service on the site. We're gonna go around making sure that, as you can see here with this one, it's red right now. FMI, which means find my iPhone is turned on and account is signed on. Generally, what happens is if someone is signed on, they most likely have their find my iPhone logged in or find my device or iPad, find my MacBook or whatever on it. What that means is that they can locate that device and their account is signed on and it's not signed out yet. Make sure if you're buying a pre-owned device for someone, get that IME number, have that checked, run it and make sure that is off. And even though, as you can see, iCloud status is clean, some, uh, some sellers, if they're selling, might tell you that, but that doesn't necessarily mean someone is logged off. So that's really key important. You don't wanna get that too mixed up. Even if the iCloud status is clean, what that means is, you know, 
it just wasn't reported lost or a racer or anything like that. So, but the most important thing is that find my iPhone is turned off. If find my iPhone is turned off and someone is actually signed in, you can actually reset the reset the phone with um, iTunes. But it's important that this thing is off because if it isn't off and you reset the device, it's gonna take you to this screen known as the activation lock screen where you're gonna enter the, you're gonna have to enter the original person's email and password to log back in. And if you're buying a phone and someone, you know, is trying to scam you or give you a bad device, they most likely don't have that information. So they're really trying to get rid of the device scam you out of your money so that's an important thing to check of course the most important check is to actually have the device and check it but if you don't have the device use any of those sites that you can find on google to check that yourself so hopefully this video was helpful if this video was helpful please give that a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button for future tips and tricks um, also make sure to check out the link in the description if you guys are looking to buy a cheap iphone thanks for watching guys see you guys next time